Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by You Can Call Me Lordy and today we're back once again for another Prayer to Hunting Grounds video. In this video, we're doing something very unique. We're going to teach you mates how to gain quick currency and a lot of currency per match, around 2000 plus if you are lucky. And it is insane, but you have to be playing the fighting, that's the catch. But we will highlight what to do exactly to do so. Because right now we're up to 9500 and yesterday night we had like a little bit and I've only played for like half an hour to hour today. And I did that and I got around 9500 currency. That is really darn good. That's something you can't do in the Predator, only on the fire team. We'll highlight how to do it as well within this guide or video or pretty much tips and tricks. I don't know how to explain this, but it's the best way to gain this currency as quickly as possible. For the next DLC, which is Dutch's rival, you may be able to get weapon skins, knife skins by using the currency that you've earned through this way. But before we do get into this video, make sure to hit that like button and show your support towards the channel. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with us. We know majority of viewers are watching our content, but have not hit the subscribe button yet. Make sure you do so to keep up to date. And there is also a join button too if you want to support the channel even further and beyond. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the reason why we're highlighting this today is because the servers are down and you want to play the game and also gain a bit of currency to unlock your fill lockers, get new cosmetics, do whatever you need before the DLC is out for Dutch because when that comes out, everyone's going to be using Dutch and they want to unlock it maybe through currency. If that's a possibility, you have currency ready stacked just for that. If not, you'll be using the currency for the new weapon and also the new knife. So that's something to keep in mind. We'll highlight how to do this as quickly as possible. So first thing you want to do is go into a private match. Choose a map that you enjoy or know very well when it comes to currency, spawns, and loot locations. So that's something to keep in mind. I find the best map for me is Overgrowth, in my opinion. So if you want to do the exact same thing, you can do that as well. Pick your fire team character as well, and then jump into a private match. You can obviously invite other people to just coordinate and find all these spots. But I want to highlight my route as I go through this. So you want to make sure you have a class that has a decent amount of speed and... Uh, momentum through your build, so double time is usually good. Holding a knife is usually good. That's heavy hitter, but holding a knife is very good as well to run around the map with a scout class or recon class. So that's amazing amount of movement within your character. Jump to the match, obviously there's objectives. You'll be doing them at the same time as collecting your resources to gain as much currency as possible. By doing this as well, you also have the choice to get uh, recordings, tapes, collectible pieces that you can find around the map. And utilize that as well so by doing this in each prime match that you want to jump into you get around 2,000 coins if you can do it really well and get really lucky or a minimum around 900 coins it depends but sometimes when you get 900 coins you also get a collectible and either way that is a win so let's jump into the game and highlight what it looks like as we jump into the map overgrowth you want to make sure you know your entry we're at the pyramid section which isn't too bad but there isn't too many loot spawns here it's kind of awful for loot spawns in my opinion there's one usually around here on the very top not there, on top of this, yep, there's one here, get this, perfect, and there's usually one there, and, oh, stuff that up for sure, no, don't see it, don't see it, maybe around this corner, no, so there's only a couple of loot spawns, there isn't anything too significant, kill this, just to make sure, by doing the missions at the same time, you're getting currency either way, but we're making sure that we try and get as much currency as possible per match. Because when you play Preta, you can't do this. There's no optional way of doing this as Preta because you have to put pressure against the fire team. Like, it's too difficult to go for currency and then lose the game because of doing that. So there's usually one around here, currency spawns. There's currency spawn down there, which we'll revisit. And there should be some over here. No. Okay, over here. Perfect. Let's get that. Purple is usually good. But the purple bricks are the best one. So if you get any of those in this game, that'd be very good for us overall. Kill the AIs. We do not want them to turn the alarm, so that's keep something to keep in mind. Because if they do, it's just going to be a headache for us to deal with it. Check around here. No, not there. Not there. Not there. Perfect. Just keep running. Over here. Around this corner. No, not there. Not here. You gotta double check, there's a couple of loot spawns. Obviously, I'm just going quickly through it, but they spawn quite a bit. You said you need to make sure that you're double checking everything to see where it is. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Where's he going? Where are you going, dude? There you go, nice. Go back to night form, keep riding around the map. Because usually, what ends up happening, you end up going to X for around seven minutes remaining or five minutes. That's usually the best case scenario. So, go to this part of the map here, which usually has quite a bit. I could went down there to collect that little small blue one, but it's not worth it. It's just a 10 currency benefit, and going down there is just a little bit of a headache. But again, this one is perfect. Sometimes they spawn here, keep that in mind. Very hard to see, but it does spawn in there. Go around here. The spy hits up down there. Kill this. 
Perfect. They usually spawn here, but we don't see too many except for that one there. Up here, nah, nothing. In here, nothing. Up there, perfect. You have to just know all the spots and double check them as much as possible. Crouch that one always, because you won't be able to pick it up. That one, click on the mission. Get that complete at the same time, because why the hell not? We're doing them, let's get them done. Get that, perfect. Get more currency here. Now, can't find anything there. Get this mission too. Currency again. So he's just highlighting all the spawns and where to pick them up to get as much currency per game as possible. Because if you're playing and then you're double checking these at the same time, it's like, why the hell not? Oh, wow. I just all of them turned around on me. Get that. Perfect. Is this um, sniper out there? I can see him, but not completely. Pick up that. Perfect. It's always spawned here, too. Sometimes over here. And also up here. In here, and look how lucky we got. We got a recording as well. These are collectible pieces that you need to collect in order to get, like, voice lines, tapes that give you more information about the game. And you understand the lore behind Predator Hunting Grounds. It's really cool, because I have quite a bit already. I'm trying to complete that at the same time. And by doing these, I have the chance to do so. To me, that's more than 2,000 coins, in my opinion. But it helps so much, just collecting those pieces. So I love collecting stuff in games. It's just the best feeling. Go here. Find explosives. Uh, I think it should be in here. Let's double check. No. I might have seen them and not really focused, so we'll double check again. Got that. Perfect. And it's over here. Okay. Not too bad. Pick that up. And place the explosives on the tank. And it's not too bad for us. So we're just doing the mission at the same time. They will check spawns for other loot drops as well. Put that there. Perfect. I don't need to be right next to it, so that's perfect. Because sometimes with timed missions, you have to be right next to it to defend it. In explosive missions, you don't. So that gives you the best advantage to roam around the map and try and find some more currency spawns. Like the ones here. Perfect. Let's get that. Run around. Not there. Spawns in here sometimes. No. Nah. It's alright, no issue. Keep pushing. We have a bit of time to actually move roam around the map as we're doing this. I'll most likely show you other matches that we've had today with high currency matches once we've done this like type of tactic. Because sometimes you do get lucky and other times you don't. You just need those purple bricks, which are not easy to find, in my opinion. They just randomly generate and it just depends. How lucky you get. Go over here. But we see some. Oh my god, we see some good spawns here. For sure. Some very good spawns. Right over here. See, these are the things you need. You need that. Look how much points we get from that. It is dirty good. So good. 1,000 ready. Perfect. Pick that up. In here, there should be some. Oh, there's none. The best part of that, we have already out that other mission. Because we ran to it. So it's perfect. Get that. Kill him. Perfect. Pick up his item. Nice and easy. Now we already have X all done. And we have 9 minutes left. So you just keep looting around the area. Which is this one here. Sometimes they spawn on top of this. But it's not there. Around this corner, nah. In on top of this, nah. You just gotta keep double checking spawns to see how lucky you get. That's the thing. Sometimes you get loot drops everywhere, and other times you don't. It just depends. Up here. I never find anything decent here. Like, this is a very unlucky spot in my opinion. Nothing good ever comes out of it. It's always just like a blue currency laying somewhere. It's usually just for weapon drops, more than anything. Like getting crates and ammo. Those are usually things you find up here, and medkits. Which are good too. We won't activate X-Fill yet, because we still need to go over this area here. Okay, double check this place. Nothing, nothing. Until this, nothing. 
Round here. Perfect, we've got something. Go up here. In that corner. Perfect. Double check down there. Nothing. We'll kill this though. Go back to knife form. Not to find it. Spawns here. Spawns there. Nothing. Unlucky. Okay, there's nothing else on this part of the map. We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We've got this little small area here to check. Which is over here. Check that. I see something purple up there. Oh my god, see this is why you come here. You got to double check every loot location from a distance. Because you can see the objective of what you can get. And we got purple bricks. Hell yeah. Look how much currency, boys. That is so darn good. To get a recording and also that amount of currency, one match, so good. Obviously, we have high matches before this, around 2,000 something plus. But 1,670 is a win in my books. Especially while getting a collectible piece as well. Because collectibles are very hard to get. But once you do things like this and you find where the loot spawns are, it helps quite a bit. And since loot spawns are not, or the collectible spawns aren't stuck to certain maps yet, you can just keep playing one map, understand the whole spawn lo locations, drops of currency, and then that helps you out quite a bit. So I always like that. It means so much for that aspect of the game. It feels like I'm playing a loot shoot at this point. <laughs> when I go for currency. It's so good though. So we're going to save our currency for most likely a field locker un unboxing when the next update does come out. When Dutch is available. And we'll see what happens. I feel like that should be the best part about that. So we're stacking our currency like this. If the servers are kind of dead. If not, we'll just be playing normally and, and destroying plays while playing the fire team and also the Pranta. It just depends. What we're doing on that day, so that's usually fun. But servers need to be fixed because it makes it hard. But this is like another thing you can do in your free time to get those collectibles, gain that currency, and get those easy, easy cosmetics. That's for sure. So we go easy extraction. We end up getting quite a bit of points as well at the same time. We'll see it all stack up as we leave the match, and then it shows how much we got as a result. We're seeing we get XP, we get um, the currency in the game as well, which is 1,700. We're up to 11,000 right now. That is dirty good, mates. And then we also got a recording, which is priceless to me at this point, because I want to get all those recordings before the Dutch release does come out. And it gets more recordings in the games that we have to actually collect as well. Insane amount of recordings. But you get XP. You have to get recordings. And you also have to get currency. The quickest way possible is by doing this, because you have no threats except for AI units. You can use your class so you can move around the whole map quite quickly, and you find all the spots where it generates. The only thing you need to know is that some maps are maybe more preferable than others. In my opinion, Overgrowth is a well-designed map for finding currency. Other maps like uh, Derailed and Backwater can be a little bit of a hassle. I think Derailed is actually better than Backwater. Backwater, I would not want to do this. This part here is a headache. Just to double check every loose spawn here. And especially because it's sprinkled around a bit. It's not that good. But Derailed is a, my second best map for checking for currency. But the first one it, for me is Overgrowth. But Derailed 2 is pretty good. I think they're both in line. We'll most likely do another video when we go through Derailed and find all the currency there. And highlight how to get currency there. But for now, I think Overgrowth is the best option for everyone to utilize, as we've highlighted in the video. So make sure you do that to get as much XP, currency, and recordings that you possibly can. But tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to know. As always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this. I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye.